So good morning and uh, thank you Salai for this uh, wonderful opportunity. I fortunately get uh, opportunity to study at National Institute of Fashion Technology Bangalore. Uh, the interest came in as my father is doing a fabric manufacturing business uh, in Namakal district. So I thought okay let me pursue my career in the same field. So because of that I did my diploma in Salem and then I get into Bangalore. That's how my journey and interest has been started and then so far so good and then quite excited that I am into this fashion technology field. Families from entrepreneurship backgrounds, I want to have my own uh, company. So I thought, okay, let us start own consulting. That's how it has been started in 2016. And then I was discussing with my partner or I can say my friend Ramesh. And then we thought, okay, let us start our own company. And then we named it as Skyleaf Consulting. Uh, so it's almost four years we started and then we could able to capture what do you say around uh, around nine countries we are working and then executing uh, different projects and then we are executing projects with United Nations also and now we got a very good project in Africa so so and then we would like to take it to a, to a next level so we are working towards that so we were focusing in we are focusing in three areas currently one is the process improvement where he, he help in setting up of um, uh, excellent process and sops and the second we are handling all the training programs that includes the lawyer management middle and senior management everybody included into that program where we conduct technical soft skills behavioral intervention we are uh, intervening in all the areas in providing the training and the third one is very important that is a performance uh, management system because you set up SOP, you train someone, but we need to monitor them. So how, how effectively they are executing the task. So we set up KPAs, key performance indicators. And through that, we are measuring uh, the performance of the people, the department and factory. So these are all the broad three services we are currently working with our clients. The major key performance indicators which is very crucial across any apparel manufacturer is CPM, that is cost per minute. That is the first one. Of course, the, the what do you say, the byproduct is of course efficiency. So efficiency also is one of our major focus because our industrial engineering is the core base of our consulting uh, company. So efficiency is another KPI. And we focus on on-time shipment or on-time delivery. There are a lot of clusters because Tirupur is well known because of exports, but there are a lot of clusters like uh, Karur, uh, Salem, e So all these are a textile hub. So uh, directly or indirectly, they are supporting the exports. So there is a big opportunity uh, when we are going outside because we have an entire skill set and uh, the experience we have in these clusters. But now uh, there are a lot of people who would like to go out from these clusters inside Tamil Nadu, like rural places. And then now also we are helping a couple of clients in setting up of factories. As of now, we worked with around five clients for setting up of their seven units inside Tamil Nadu in rural places. So there is always a big opportunity, a build and manpower. But finally, it's up to how we are effectively utilizing those opportunities. That's how it's happening. Before we were have producing one lakh pieces or two lakh pieces per or per uh, style, but now the orders are getting shrinked, and then the customization is because is a prime need for the customers. So different styles, fashion styles, and then there are a lot of embellishment work is coming in. So if we can have a tool to utilize this kind of op uh, opportunity to manufacture those fashion styles, then definitely nobody can easily be a competitor to us and then nobody can easily beat us also. So the foremost will be the cost, no doubt on that because buyers are very specific on the cost front um, and nowadays. So we have to ensure like whatever the service we are doing, whether that can be a basic, fashion, sustainable, we have to ensure that is being the product is manufactured at a lower cost. Uh, the second one is the sustainability because everyone knows how the consumers are very conscious nowadays about the sustainability and uh, the environment everything 
So the sustainability also will be one of the key challenges and then the manufacturers have to find a way how we can, how they can promote themselves as a sustainable manufacturers. And then third one, the flexibility that is very important because the products, as I told you, like the, the customer expectation is changing, I can say not once in a year, every season. So we should have that ecosystem or supply chain in such a way that so we are flexible enough to produce whatever the customer is demanding that can happen only through a lot of collaboration because we can have we cannot have all the assets as a manufacturer so through a proper collaboration we can ensure our supply chain is so much flexible so that we can uh, offer whatever the products is being demanded by the customer see the major challenges uh, what happens when we are getting into any project in terms of productivity improvement is um, of course the data capturing let me tell you because as of now the entire data capturing depends on the individual we may deploy some data entry operators or we may have the supervisors or IEs to capture the data but the problem is there are two problems how authenticated that particular data is a first question because everything happens uh, through someone is communicating to others so we are not sure about the authenticity of the data and the second part is the on time data availability that is also a major challenge because if i want to look into a particular line if I, if i want to understand how the production is happening uh, the data will be coming after 30 or 45 minutes to me because it will take time to collect the data then only i can i can review it the meantime uh, the, the production lost is production lost if you want to scale up your business, you, you need to be ready to set up your factory even in Jharkhand or Madhya Pradesh. Sometimes you need to go out of your country because Africa is the next destination. So, so we should be as an entrepreneur, entrepreneur, like we should have that right mindset to ensure we have all because the information tools and everything is coming up, the technology is coming up. So we should be flexible enough to work in any environment, not directly. Through all the tools, we should be ready to work in, in another countries or different uh, places also. That is a, one of the big, uh, big change which is needed from the entrepreneur. Technology will be going to play a major role in apparel manufacturing. No doubt on that. Of course, the garment manufacturing is a hum human oriented. No doubt on that. Uh, fortunately, we don't have uh, much technology available to directly produce the garment from fabric uh, because of the nature of the fabric and uh, everything. So technology, however, the technology will play a major role because um, everybody is looking for automation to reduce the human intervention. And then there are a lot of um, supply chain tools are very much needed because of the logistics and everything. So it's the right time manufacturers should focus wherever the technology can be adopted right from uh, fabric till packing that may be automation that may be information tool whatever it is if we can employ those technology then definitely it will make their job easier of course it will have a direct impact on the cost of manufacturing also uh, we are much excited to have a collaboration with uh, Salai. So we were looking for a right opportunity who can uh, uh, give some unique solutions in in terms in under technology uh, in garment industry. So so fortunately we uh, get to meet Mr. Sandeep and there and his colleagues, uh, and then the intervention. I mean the discussion. Everything went uh, very good, and then finally we could able to have a, a tie up with them, and then it will definitely help both Salai and Skylift. Uh, to improve our customer base and we can service to extend our services also to a wider range. Salai have a very deep uh, technical technological tool available with them. Uh, Skylift has a good experience in implementation or hand holding the people how any particular tool can be implemented effectively. So when both joins together then of course like uh, it will take both company to a next level. We are collaborating with uh, uh, with Salai majorly to help their particular Salai tool, data capturing tool, to be accessible to all of our clients also from our side. And then Salai also having their client base 
and uh, no doubt in that and then we'll be helping them also how they can implement that particular tool in their uh, own factory so initially we want to focus on getting this tool implemented and then uh, of course we have a larger plan which i also like we would like to expand uh, some modules of reporting uh, also into this particular uh, domain Sela is having a very strong uh, technology, I mean, uh, IT tool with them uh, because we could uh, get a time to analyze the tool also because the tool is very vibrant. And then, of course, uh, whatever the uh, what you say, kind of challenges we may have in data capturing in the factory floor, almost 90 95 percentage of the challenges has been addressed through this particular tool. From Skyly front, we are, as I told you, we are very strong in implementation. We have a very vibrant team with them. And then the guys can get into the uh, floor and then they can deal with all the people on the floor and then get the things executed. So when you have the tool available, when you have the people who can implement the tool also available, then definitely we can expect the results in a very quicker way. And then the client will be much happy to see the results in a shorter time. Two major challenges which I see the CLI can easily solve it because the CLI is offering a real time uh, data capturing solution and then of course the authenticity is excellent. So, so we can 100% rely on the CLI data and then it will help to take decisions at a quicker time so that we don't lose any production. They have a tool, we are there to get it implemented and ensure the client is getting a benefit at a shorter time and whatever the challenges they face in the in the ground so the skylift will be there to help them and of course whatever the technical challenges we can quickly escalate it to CLI and we can ensure the customer satisfaction is at 100 percentage and they will get the ROI at the minimum period.